living in Moscow can be really expensive especially for someone that's just coming to experience Moscow for the first time or for someone that has lived in a cheaper town in the past so last week I shared with you that I've been living in Moscow for six months I gave you an update and one of the things I mentioned is about my living expenses my living expenses literally skyrocketed since I moved to Moscow after living in a small town for seven years in today's video I am going to be sharing with you how much your living experiences would look like okay when living in moscow or as a student in russia i'm going to talk about accommodation fees utility grocery transportation you know entertainment i'm also going to be sharing how to take advantage of discount cards how to get them i'm going to be talking about cashbacks so i need you to stay tuned hi if you're new here i'm Joyce Bissola. on this channel i share content on lifestyle living and schooling in russia and i'll be glad to have you as part of family so before you leave make sure to subscribe hit the like button share this video and also drop a comment for me in the comment section below all right without further rambling let's jump right into today's video so guys i'm going to be starting with food okay so this is the part that i love <laughs> okay i'm not a foodie um, as you can tell from my stature i don't eat a lot now how much do you actually need on an average to spend on groceries i would say six thousand rubles so basically let's just say a hundred dollar roughly okay this is if you are working on an economized budget but if you are someone that you like to eat what you want to eat when you want to eat it how you want to eat it then you should expect to spend from 200 to 50 dollars to be honest when it comes to food it actually depends on you it depends on the person what their preferences are what they would like to eat and how they would like to eat as well okay so i can't actually tell you to use my tummy to you know weigh how much you are going to spend i might spend like way less on food because i don't eat a lot i hope you guys get it yeah so speaking about food i know that most of you that watch me are from africa and you will love to get a taste of home so allow me to introduce you to Creeberry. Creeberry is a marketplace for goods and services and today's video is sponsored by Creeberry. So on Creeberry you would find goods and services especially that cater to you as an African and one of the stores on Creeberry is Afro Store and right now there is an ongoing discount on the Afro Store. So use the code eSolutions at the end of your checkout and get a 5% discount on all the items that you buy and you'll be able to get your African food store to your doorstep anywhere you are in russia okay guys don't say i didn't do anything for you this offer is valid till the 24th of february 2022 so the 24th of this month so you still have a couple of days to go and shop and stock up on your african food all right yeah talking about food i have some tips to share with you when you're going grocery shopping one thing you should like take note of is getting discount cards okay let me just move this So these are some of the discount cards that i hold however i don't actually use them physically why because i have the apps downloaded on my phone so things have been made very easy now you don't need to have a physical plastic card all you need to do is to download the app of the store or the supermarket you want to buy okay and you'll be able to use the discount card that comes with that so every single store that i visit i have a discount card already I don't buy anything i don't go to any shop that i don't have a discount card in or there's a sort of student bonus okay so yeah there are also some shops that allow you to shop with your student card for like a percentage of so like body care shops um beauty shops those kind of um stores have student plans like that okay so the next thing is about accommodation what's the cost of accommodation like in moscow I think that's the most important thing for anyone that is moving to anywhere okay how much are you going to spend on accommodation basically where are you going to be living so i have shared in previous video about the accommodation options that are available for you as students okay we have dormitory and we have apartments and apartments you can decide to get like a shared apartment or you can decide to live alone in a dormitory you can expect to spend as little as 15 dollars in a month and spend as much as 100 120 dollars even 150 dollars i even know that there are some hostels that cost as much as 13,000 rubles that is almost 200 dollars so it really just depends on what you want okay for an apartment on an average okay you would be spending a minimum of 250 dollars now this is not an apartment to yourself this is a shared apartment 
$250, I believe, is like 18,000 rubles. Yes, apartment, rented apartment is that expensive in Moscow, okay? So this is for a shared apartment. If you want to live alone, like, I mean, all by yourself, you should expect to spend a minimum of 450 to 500 dollars so that is about let's say 30 to 35,000 rubles of course you can get apartments that are more expensive than that and maybe a little lower but it depends on the kind of apartments that you like and the style that you love okay so if you want to live in an apartment that is kind of old soviet union style okay you can get apartments you know as low as 250 dollars but if you want a very modern apartment okay maybe the usual modern stuff white gray you get what i mean okay yes then you should expect to spend you know a minimum of 300 dollars to start with i mean like if you're living in a shared space but if you are going to be living alone expect to spend 450 to 600 or even 650 dollars in a month if you're living in an apartment although apartment also depends on the area where you are getting the apartment so if you are getting an apartment in the city center you should expect to spend like the highest you know the highest um what's the word expect to spend a lot but if you are living in the outskirts of moscow okay that's like moscow oblast you can expect to spend a little less why because it's far away from the center okay yeah so that's that'll be accommodation by the way guys if you're thinking i'm going to give you the exact figures that i personally spend then you might want to wait to the end okay <laughs> all right okay so, now the next thing i would like to talk about is utilities so lights and water if you're living in the hostel you have nothing to worry about okay because basically it is part of your hostel fee but when you're living in an apartment then you should worry <laughs> you should worry because you're going to be paying for lights and water separately from your rent okay so i'll just give some tips on how to you know manage your utility bills i would say learn to put off lights when you are not using them okay i know in the hostel you can leave lights and water on for ages and nothing is going to happen but when you're living in an apartment you have to be very careful of light and water bills okay so you have to be careful how you use light okay and how you use water when you are going out make sure to switch off your lights when you're not using something make sure that it is switched off so that's just like a small tip on how to save like on water and lights okay so another thing i would like to share about is internet so internet in moscow is more expensive than in other cities so in arkhangelsk i was paying 450 dollars a month but i got to realize that for an unlimited plan using the same network that i use in moscow it's about 800 rubles that's just the dollars guys i'm sorry i mean 450 rubles but then on moving to moscow i realized that the same internet plan i'm on cost about 800 rubles however because i'm still using my same sim i'm still paying 450 rubles but anyone that is trying to register a sim right now with my network provider is going to be spending as much as 800 rubles in a month so basically internet is more expensive however when you're paying for wi-fi i even find that it is cheaper but then like for mobile internet it means like when you are outside and all however you can actually live without it because in like public transportation you would have free wi-fi so like the moscow metro actually i remember when i was living in the hostel i was not spending money on wi-fi at all because there was like free wi-fi okay i think in hostels they provide free wi-fi but if you're going to be paying for wi-fi i would just say you should think about 650 to 750 rubles or it can be more it depends on the network provider that you're using and it can also be less so the next thing is about transportation surprisingly this is the most affordable thing in moscow and i feel like it's also the most affordable thing like when i compare moscow and like where i was living before arkhangelsk okay for a student and i'm talking about public transportation don't get me wrong okay so let me show you guys my student card okay let me move closer a bit so this is my social card as a student okay the student social card basically when you get to moscow you have gotten your visa you've done your registration the next thing you would want to do is to get your student social card so this card enables me to have an unlimited ride to all the public transport within the city at a very low cost so i pay approximately 620 dollars in a month for bus rides and metro rides and it's an unlimited plan okay but if you like to move around with taxis then that's where the problem starts okay 
so an average um, ride will cost a minimum of 450 rubles depending on the um, distance they are trying to cover that's how much the ride you know can cost but to save money on transportation can use apps like uber okay uber you can find affordable trips with the uber x plan and you can use apps like indriver i have a video where i shared 25 must have apps okay for you as someone that is living in russia so i'm going to link that video up here and also in the description box so you can go back and check that video out yeah so that's how you can save money on transportation make sure to go with public transport but if you like the comfort of like riding faster then you have to use taxis which are more expensive so the next thing i like to talk about is entertainment let's talk about how much do you think you would spend on entertainment in a month please leave a comment in the description box below how much do you think is okay to spend on entertainment in a month i would say in moscow a minimum of 100 dollars if you are going to be going out you're going to be having experiences but one way to also save money is to go out with your friends not to go out alone of course you can have solo dates once in a while okay but most times i would advise that you go out with like a group of people that way you are able to save costs okay let's say on transportation right one way you can save money on transportation is also by sharing okay so you want to get a taxi you guys are four that you are going out so instead of you taking the whole bill of the taxi okay you are sharing with a friend and that way you are able to split the bills i always emphasize on splitting bills like learn to you know make friends learn to have friends and learn to split bills it just helps you to manage your money you are a student okay and for the most part you are trying to live on a budget i'm not the type to go out a lot like you guys know but i'm trying to change that this year and one way i am trying okay to work on this is by taking advantage of lunch hours so there are a lot of restaurants okay that do this thing where like lunch hours they have a special discount so that is something that you like to take advantage of like i said i'm not the best person to advise for entertainment but i would just say that it actually just totally depends on you so yeah that's that with entertainment so guys another thing i would like to share about is cashbacks okay so there is something called berry bonus so if you use berry bank if you're in moscow or you're in russia and you use berry bank you know there's something called berry bonus so basically there are some stores that you go to and you get cash back on the items that you get i only realized this like two weeks back okay that i actually had some bonus on my card because i went out with a youtuber okay that you guys are going to be seeing much later okay yes i went out with a youtuber and then we realized that we could actually purchase stuff with the cashback bonus that we had so that they will actually eat for free okay so yeah that's like one other um way to like save money so like learn to use cashback so instead of using just any bank check like the banks that you use okay or the banks that are available for you so guys that's it with how much i spend okay i would say that on an average let's calculate all of this together okay so spending 300 dollars on rent okay spending 100 dollars on food 100 dollars on entertainment so entertainment for me would include things like manicure pedicure maybe hair all those things okay that's um so we already have 500 dollars guys let's also add like transportation utilities and other things so in essence i am happy to announce to you that you'll be spending a minimum of 400 dollars as a student in moscow i hope you're happy <laughs> yes like you'll be spending a minimum of 400 dollars as a student in moscow if you're living in an apartment if you are living in a hostel i'm happy also to announce to you that you'll be spending a minimum of 300 dollars let's just say 250 300 dollars of course guys this is subjective on you and your chosen way of life or your lifestyle you can spend less you can spend more i'm just giving you guys the rough view of like what i have experienced so far and how much things actually cost so in summary is most expensive yes it is compared to like other smaller towns in russia however it's most expensive when compared to other metropolitan cities in the world like new york london i think moscow is fairly cheap compared to those places okay however like i said i keep saying however but in essence it depends on you and your lifestyle like i said already so guys comment down below do you think that i spend too much money okay as a student living in moscow like spending a minimum of 400 dollars in a month 
sometimes i spend less sometimes i spend more but like let's just say on an average i will spend that much money so guys yeah that's it for this video that is how much i spend in a month as a student in moscow i share this video so as to give you guys a rough overview of what life is like here and also just share tips on how to save money okay so major things are discount cards um social cards for transportation student discounts using cashbacks also splitting bills that's a major one for me i split bills a lot with my people okay so that's one way i've learned to like save money all right guys i'll see you next week until then stay blessed stay glowing i love you guys bye